All right, what's going on, guys? Uh, it's super disgusting here in Pennsylvania just because of like the weather. It hasn't really been snowing, but it's just gross outside. But finally, we're getting to some car shit. I got a CSL trunk lip for my trunk lid. Um, it's like the CSL like ducktail kind of style. It's from Click Tuning. Super excited to put that on, but it's actually in here because I'm prepping it for paint right now. <laughs> my girlfriend is huddled by the heater. We made our little, it's like a homemade paint booth in here. But no, here it is. It's super dope. It's super lightweight. I'm really excited to put it on. But right now we're prepping it for paint. And as soon as I'm painting it, I'll hop back into the video. But right now I'm just wiping it down real quick. But yeah. All right, so progress on the CSL spoiler. Uh, fourth coat of Plasti Dip is on. It's still drying. It's a little bit wet right now and the lighting in here kind of sucks so you can't really see but once I go and test fit it on the trunk you guys will be able to see it better but the Plasti Dip definitely made it look better because before I was just gonna put it on like dry but it looked way too like you know like unfinished drift car like haggard like the black it just looked really ashy but this Plasti Dip just looks like super you know it just makes it darker and more finished looking so it looks really good right now, but right now I'm gonna go wash my car. I wasn't going to because it's like super gross outside, but I literally haven't washed this thing and it's snowed a couple times and it's just really disgusting. I already took the BMW badge off the back to put it on the new spoiler, but yeah, I'm gonna give it a wash real quick. And I think also for shits and giggles, I'm gonna plasti dip the uh, winter wheels because I really wanna see what it looks like with black wheels and the black uh, spoiler because I'm planning on getting um, black wheels in the spring anyway, so might as well just like dip these real quick It only take me like two two hours or so or whatever just to Mask everything off and to plastic dip them on the car So yeah, I'm gonna wash this real quick and then I think we're gonna hop back into the video and test fit the uh, spoiler so hey, hey, let's go. freshly painted and right now we're putting like scotch tape on to line it up like perfectly so it matches the body lines and everything um we're mounting this with 3m like heavy duty extreme like mounting tape it's like actually sitting right over there um we're just gonna put a couple of strip like a couple long strips across the top and then a couple right here on the bottom because this lip does make contact on top and bottom because it's like a ducktail it's a trunk it kind of just collapses on like on both parts of the trunk here so we're gonna heat it up with a hair dryer one more time. We're gonna rubbing alcohol it down and then we're gonna mount it on with the tape. So after it's mounted, we'll show you guys. All right, so we just put the tape down and we just put it on. So it's uh, sticking to the trunk by itself and it looks pretty good. I'm still taking the tape off, but it looks decent. I wanna put the emblem on. We're also gonna do um, like black caulking like all along like the edge and stuff just to make sure that like no air is getting underneath there or anything but you definitely need like two people to do this <laughs> be difficult just a pain in the ass like lining everything up but got the emblem on it's all finished up looks pretty pretty nice i might just put glue in there and get rid of this glue yeah, we had one issue where we pretty much taped like the entire top of it, but this little end spot, there's just a little bit of play in the top of it, like there's just a little bit of gap. And we tried doing like black caulking, but it was just super messy and didn't work out too well. So I think we're just gonna put a little bit of glue like underneath that front, but other than that. Wow. Wow. The black wheels, I'm telling you, <laughs> look so good. I'm excited. This looks nice. Looks real nice. <laughs> this thing looks too good, man. It's the next day. I just gotta work stupid late, but this is literally the only chance I've had to like do a walk around of what it looks like. It's super dark. I'll only post a couple second video of this, but I think I'll uh, do another one when it's actually daytime outside and not completely dark. Woo! Woo All right, so. Finally, here's a video of it in the daytime. It looks super good with the black wheels, but I took a video of it in the dark when I just got out of work, but it looks so nice right now. 
All right, guys, I think I'm gonna wrap it up for this video. Again, this is a click tuning CSL style spoiler. Uh, let me know if you guys have any questions about like the installation or anything like that. You know, you can use tape, glue, you can even do like rivets in there, but I used tape because I thought that was the cleanest thing. And it's been almost a week now. It's been about a week and everything has stayed on like pretty good. So let me know if you guys have any questions or anything like that. Leave them down in the comments section below. But uh, yeah, there it is guys. CSL click tuning spoiler on the E46. It looks super nice.